Hi, this is O'Connor at the Startup Launchpad. You got us this is the October edition 2016, and I'm with Ivan of Fitbrom. Is that right? Fitbrom. Correct, Fitbrom. And we interviewed Ivan back in April because I want to know about what is so special about their product. Like, you've got this virtual reality goggles that you put your phone on, and it's kind of like, well, there's a lot of others like this out in the marketplace, but what was special was. Okay, so. Um... So if we get back in April, I was introducing you our product yes. and some unique features of the product. Yes. Uh, so there are lots of uh, virtual reality headsets available on the market, Correct. but they are all pretty much the same. Right. So in, in this case, we have created the headset uh, quite universal because in our idea we want to share the experience of virtual reality with as much people as we could mm. and we don't want to be greedy or uh, egoistic like some big brands yes. allowing people to use only limited number of mod mobile right. phones Yes. Uh, because nowadays a lot of people have uh, virtual reality ready mobile phones which are ready for virtual reality right. but they don't want to spend a lot on some flagman phones. Right. And what was also special was you had software built. Exactly. Uh, like we started to sell a bundle because right. we want the end user to have the complete product. Right. Because uh, the end user is kind of confused. How do I use this the headset in my ordinary life? Yeah. Instead of just watching videos. Correct. That is why we decided to uh, give them an opportunity to get the idea of what virtual reality could look like right. in different categories. Yes. That is why we have interactive attractions. Yes. Some games. Right. Shooters. Yes. Uh, the applications yeah. to watch video in VR. Yes. Uh, applications for augmented reality too. Right. Okay. So. Uh, Back so you actually, you, you know, you got the full package there. It's not just yeah. the hardware. Yeah. It's not just the someone else's phone that goes in the hardware, but you're actually creating the software to help drive these different applications Definitely. in the virtual reality world. So very interesting, last six months. Okay, so back in April, uh, we had 17 applications for Android and right. 14 for iOS. Right, 17 Android, 14 for iOS. Yeah, so yeah. what we have achieved. So nowadays the number of applications is 28. 28, yes. For both Android right. and iOS devices. Wow. Yes. So from we have just started the global distribution from last April. Yes. And by today we have uh, launched our product in Germany, Media Market Saturn, Gravis. Media Market is a major exactly. electronics distribution chain throughout Europe. Yeah. But it's the biggest one. Yeah. So we are now yeah. presented in Germany. Right. And we are going to be presented in Media Market Spain. Yes. Spain. Next good. week. Right. Uh, then what have we also achieved? Uh, we have launched a, a company with Alcatel, yes. and they pre-installed two of our applications on their idle for, for uh, with Windows Mobile. Platform. Oh, interesting! So pre-packaged yeah. phones with fit from application inside. Pre-installed. Wow. Uh, then we have launched uh, sales next uh, last week in USA. Yes. With yeah. Rise Electronics. Wow. We have been also so is this your first entry into the US market? Yeah. Uh, so Prize Electronics is a distributor? Yeah, exactly. Okay, wonderful. With the help of our distributor, we have been chosen as number one techno partner for Emmy Awards event. Wow. So some of the celebrities have been uh, presented with our glasses. Oh, wow. And most of them liked it. Sorry. Uh, the they were given something like this, right? Yeah, they, no, they have been given a, a, a bundle. A bundle, okay, an, I like that. Annual subscription, right? And the headset. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, this is wonderful. So, in 2017, what is your biggest challenge in terms of distribution and different countries that you're looking to go into? Okay, we started to create the Fibrom platform. It's a kind of analog of uh, Steam VR where we uh, combine developers and users and distributors. Right. And the biggest goal for us would be to increase the number of uh, uh, signed uh, members up to 2.5 2 2 million. 2.5 million. million. And at the moment, what are you at to? Uh, 100, 
130,000. 130,000, okay, yeah. so we're going to grow. So we have different techniques how to... Okay, invite all right, people. so you different partnership exactly. plans. So uh, one of the, of the options is that we can uh, off, uh, provide 14 days free access codes right. to developers, distributors, uh, retailers and manufacturers of VR goggles. Right. Uh, we have run this uh, campaign with a Chile company right. and they sold 100,000 codes in Falabella shop. Right. So 100,000 units. Yeah, we met uh, a, a partner here in Global Sources last April. Right. They they bought some uh, virtual reality goggles for I don't know like for one dollar. Amazing. And they bundled it together with our codes. Yes. And with the head of this bundle, they right. sold 100,000 units. Wow. Eventually. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So I'm really interested in how. What are we going to do? You've got distributors, distribution going around, you've got different partnerships. So what is your biggest challenge? Not just to grow, or how to grow from 135,000 membership okay. to 1.5 so million? We have million. divided the whole global into four major parts. Right. APAC, Americas, EMEA and Russian CIS. Right. Since we're a Russian company, Russia yes. is not a big deal for us. Right. Uh, then we are kind of good presented in EMEA region. Right. In countries like France, Germany, Italy, Spain, uh, Germany, uh, Norway, Holland, Saudi Arabia. Uh, you can also buy us at uh, United Arab Emirates Virgin Store. Wow. But the biggest challenge for us is to penetrate American market. Right. North America and South America market. North America and South America. And South America, wow. yeah. Brazil would be a great opportunity yes. for us, and of course the APEC region. Okay. We are not well presented in China, right. Taiwan, and since I lived in New Zealand, I would like to have our New Zealand. New Zealand. Well, yeah. if you have to say New Zealand, you better say Australia too, right? Too, yeah. I'm from Australia, so you got to get you got to hit the Australian market. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So well, Ivan, Aussies need to know what Fever is all about. Well, exactly, and and I think this is. I think the packaging, but also the messaging mm -hmm. through the marketing is a challenge for Fitbrun because it's not just a virtual reality, yeah. it's also the application software to support mm -hmm. the, the entertainment, the interactive gaming and other video modules that, you go, that go with it, correct? Correct. But I still want to, one last question, and it's about the, you have this subscription model. Mm -hmm. Now, is that to support the application updates or to get new applications with that subscription? What? Okay, basically how it works. Uh, the subscription card has the, the code. Right. When you register at our platform, you need to register the code. Right. So the subscription gives you the free, uh, one year free usage of all of our applications. All the applications. When the annual subscription is expired. Yes. All applications developed within one year remains with you. Yes. But if there would be new applications, the end user has two options. Whether to pick and choose each and every and buy them or to buy annual subscription. I like that. Again. Okay. Yeah. So users have a choice to actually buy the individual applications. Right. Or the subscription you just get access. Mm -hmm. So you're buying time or you're actually buying the application. Exactly. And my sense is that these applications may get may evolve over time and get better and better. Mm -hmm. So in some ways, the subscription model is better mm -hmm. because you buy it once, then it gets upgraded. That doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get that upgrade when that comes yeah, through. Yeah, we can provide different options. Like yes. for media market, we, we are already developing options. Like we can sell uh, uh, cards with the subscription separately. Wow. Seeing some like the best Christmas games, right. the best shooting games, wow. uh, the best games for vacations, mm -hmm. stuff right. like that. Yeah. And yeah. So, really interesting marketing concept. I'm not sure if the average user or the average person that sees VR for the first time sees this as a model. But I think the subscription model is relevant, especially for the application, so you can keep up to date. Mm -hmm. Sorry, to keep the user engaged on new applications that come down your track. Correct. So, in 2017, how many new applications do you expect to develop? What's in the pipeline? Uh, we have 14 applications by the end of this year in the pipeline. So right. Together we would have 42 applications. 42. And the next year we are going to uh, develop 30 applications more. Wow. Uh, at the first quarter of 2017 we are going to release 
full scale multiplayer online shooting game. Wow, multiplayer? Yeah. Wow, that's dangerous. So imagine you can compete with people from all over the globe. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, okay, that's amazing. All right, let's wait, let's wait and see how that comes out. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably see you in April again. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so too. Thank you very Ivan, much. Thank you very much. Pleasure. And the Fitbrum team. This uh -huh. is O'Connor at Startup Launchpad. Catch you in the next booth. Thank you.